Welcome back here with another video, and today we are going to do a suede headliner on a 2010 Honda Genesis Coupe. Alright, so first thing you want to do is you want to take out the front seats, the passenger driver, and to basically make more room to take out the headliner and the pillars and like, all the visors and stuff like that. And so, yeah, let's do it. We are using this 3M Super 7.7, okay? You can get it at any auto parts store, at Walmart even. Seriously, this is um, it's for anything pretty much. Uh, it says foil, foam, paper, metal, plastic, fabric, cardboard, and insulation. This, this works really cool and this is kind of what we've done the research on. People say that this is the best stuff for this kind of project, so get this. This is a little bit difficult, but if you're trying to do this, we've removed it already, see? So pretty much all these pillars, there's only one screw on them, it's a 10 mil. The front um, pillar covers, there's one Phillips screw on each side of them, so they're behind the little SOS uh, clip, right? The rears, in the, the, the rear in the middle, there's uh, two 10 mils, also underneath the SOS clips, little covers. You pop out the little clips, they're pretty easy to pop out, and there's a 10 mil on each side only one and then they just pretty pretty much these ones are stuck in be, be underneath these the, the bottom ones and you wiggle them way you wiggle your way up with those you just kind of tech on them and they have a bunch of clips in them okay the roof is pretty simple to take off you remove all the visors and the lights and everything underneath there there's gonna be one wire going through with it that you're gonna have to unclip from all of these and the centerpiece is actually part of the clip of the roof so you remove that there's two um, two Phillips screws underneath. You open up the little compartment for the um, glasses. You unscrew those two, pop it out, and then the roof just automatically drops. Also, in the rear of the roof, the headliner, there are four clips. What? So they're just like that. There's four clips, just like that. And you pop them out. They're pretty difficult, but they're you could get them out. Later, once you have all those popped out, you pretty much take the front end and the rear end of it. You flip it sideways, and you you kind of you know make a rainbow shape out of them half circle uh don't try to try to bend it not try not bending it too much and just kind of wiggle your way out from here from any of the sides um where wherever there's more room and you got it that's what you get no creases nothing but pretty simple so basically there's this uh wire i believe it's for, for the airbags right no, it's for the um the little mic uh either oh. the light or the microphone i believe i don't know but it's only on the driver's side mm -hmm. along the pillar yeah. So basically you just need to unhook it and there's little, little clamps like this. You just kind of pop them out and that's pretty much it, only on the driver's side. So the next step is pretty much you're just going to peel off the old fabric just like that. You know, yeah, it kind of looks scary, but you're just pretty much going to peel it off and then we're going to put you guys on another time lapse. As you saw in the time lapse, we've done the first half, the, top, the front half of the headliner. Uh, this is the, one of the most difficult parts because there's a bunch of creases here for the uh, the visors and all that. There's it's very difficult, and I don't know how people do it alone, but two people would be better. As one holds it and tugs on the fabric, the other kind of lays it down, and you know you kind of have to go with the form. And it's really difficult to explain, but you go with the form of the headliner. You kind of go into the creases before you go into any sort of edges you know what i'm saying so that the fabric would be tight but not too tight where it doesn't lay it's really difficult but it's doable it's definitely doable it looks pretty good we didn't do all the edges yet as you can see we will do the second half and then we'll flip it upside down and we'll finish it off with all the edges and it should be good ain't that right Pretty much, we are done with the the headliner part. We're gonna we're gonna flip it over and uh, kind of get all the edges wrapped around and stuff like that. So basically, this material isn't very stretchy, and so it kind of it does make some very tight spots, usually towards the edges. Do little slits, and it should be a little bit easier. But keep in mind, I mean, in our case, this doesn't stretch, 
So just be mindful of that. Yeah. After the, uh, the headliner, you're obviously going to want to move on to your pillars if you're doing them, because in our case, actually, the front two are white or gray, as the rest were. And the rear and the middle are already black. We're still going to put suede on uh, just to make it all even proportionate. Um, but the visors are an interesting one because, see, all this is gray as well. We're probably going to end up painting this black or something. Or maybe he'll order something black. We'll, we'll see. We'll figure that out. Um, but the visors, we actually took off the fabric and the cloth off of them. The visors split into two, actually. So you, ra uh, you put Alcantara on each side individually, and then you click them, clip them back in. And it's pretty simple after that point. But, uh, yeah. We are partially done this rear piece both of them are actually very difficult um, because of this corner right this corner is very sharp and to make the fabric not bend or crease we had to pretty much cut out another piece and in a, in a triangle form and kind of put it in there in between um, you know we're still not done we'll clean up the edges just a little bit but that one's pretty much done we did the front ones we painted all the black pieces all the gray piece is black, so this piece is now black. Those are black. It's gonna look clean, it's gonna look much cleaner. We used this really dope paint. We used some dope trim black paint, um, two, two coats, and it's done, and it looks great, and it lasts forever. I've used this on my M3 for a few black trim pieces on the outside of the car, and it's you know it's been way over a year after of owning this car. So this stuff really works. Um, I think you can only get it online. Uh, Amazon, maybe? I'm not sure. But yeah, that stuff works very well. The visors are almost done, but yeah, making progress slowly but surely, you know? It's turning out good, man. It's gonna be sick, keep watching. All right, guys, so this is the next day. We finished it up, took us a little bit longer than expected, so if you have a full weekend, um, depending on your car, of course, uh, that would be probably the best time to do it. Or actually, one full day. Is one full day is good. good. Again, depending on your car, some things could be more difficult than others, but whatever, but it's done. Uh, putting the headliner back in is the exact same way you take it out. It's just this way you're putting it in. Go in reverse, okay? Just reverse step by step. Just do it in reverse the way you took it out. But uh, here's the end result, really. We have the unnatural light just in case. But, boy. Look at that, dude. Oh, man. It seriously looks so good. It smells different in there. Hey, have you noticed any sound dampening? Is it actually, quieter? a little bit, yeah, just a little bit quieter. It's a little bit quieter, yeah. right? Because, yeah, this material is actually thicker than the stock headliner. And, man, it looks so good, dude. No, honestly, I'm pretty proud of this. Look how everything flows now, dude. Look at that black. Black on black on black. Yep, look at this. Oh, that looks so nice. All these caps, too, these center caps. All done. You can draw stuff on it now. Yeah. Oh. Uh, when I get bored. Visors. Most of them probably unclip into two, right? So, okay, so we actually repainted these. You saw that. We got to still paint that little guy. Um, but yeah, they split into two. Look at that. This <laughs> the scene looks pretty nice now. You just split the visor into two and do each piece individually. This is painted now. It's all sweet. And next up, we're probably going to do this. Pretty simple, right? Yeah. We'll do it. But stay tuned. That's for another video. Stay tuned. There's big things coming. <laughs> There's Val's doing a big turbo swap. Who knows One when? Day, yeah. We'll do it though. There's the V10 M3 still coming. There's a lot of things actually coming, dude. There's a lot. Short shifter. Yep. Yeah. There's that. That's coming. Some suspension stuff. Stay tuned.